Hi, guys. <laughs> this is a really good angle for me. Come sit. You can sit here if you want. Or things can take that place. Let me just open my shoes. Yeah, how's that working for you? Not. Hi, can I sit there? Come here, let me. It's okay. It happens. There we go, we're centered. Hi, guys, and welcome back. So I wasn't sure that I was going to do a reading vlog this week. It's Tuesday, April 2nd. Um, because yesterday <laughs> was not a good day, but we're not going to talk about it. Um, but I am going to do a weekly reading vlog because I need things to be as normal as possible right now. And this is my normal. There's not one for last week because I filmed for like three days and then I couldn't film anymore. Um, <laughs> so we're just gonna ignore that and wait a minute what anyway yesterday i did end up finishing a book and i finished kiki's delivery service by hayao miyazaki i have no idea how to pronounce that person's name i deeply apologize but this is volume one in the first film comic i gave it five out of five stars it was so cute i definitely enjoyed it a lot and i need to get my hands on the rest of the other ones there are like three of them i think and then for the rest of the week, I'm not setting my goals too high, which is not normal for me. Um, all I want to do is finish An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir and possibly pick up A Torch Against the Night. I don't have the sequel because I won't pick it up if I already have it, but I am 226 pages into this, so I think that I could probably finish it. I've been reading good chunks of it at a time every time I pick it up. And, um... Right now, Lindsay and I, introduce yourself. Really? I just, hi, I'm Lindsay. How are you? Um, What's up? How was your day today? Oh, I'm glad. What if they said it was bad? <laughs> I'm sorry that it was bad. It'll get better. It's better days ahead. <gasps> hi, love you, you beautiful girl! Anyway, Lindsay and I are about to go to Barnes & Noble, so I figured out... Target. Take and Target. <laughs> they only care about Barnes & Noble. And Target. You can get some good books at Target. Okay, we're going to Barnes & Noble and Target. And I figured I'd take you along with us since it's book related. Oh, you're vlogging. Yes, that's oh. what this is. Oh. A weekly reading vlog. <laughs> I said that. Oh. Thank you for listening. <laughs> okay. It'd be so exciting. It's such a good video. I love a new vlog. I'm glad. But yeah. She actually is going to get some books, and so I thought Just that would one. be momentous. You're going to get a poetry book, too. Okay, so maybe two. I, don't, I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll get four. Um, Love that. That's not going to happen. We're leaving now. Hope you enjoyed our bickering. See you later. What time is it? 5.21. Okay, it's 521, and Lindsay and I just got out of Barnes & Noble. I didn't vlog in there because I'm an awkward human. Um, but, Lindsay made some purchases, and I didn't for a change. Shocker. Do you want to show them, or do you want me to show them? Oh, okay. It's up to you. They're your books. You show them. You can show them. I'm eating my cookies. I'm always showing them books. Okay. So the first book she got, I actually picked. She got Legend by Marie Lu. You wanna explain why you picked that one? Um, because Erin told me what it was about. I thought it would be a good book. I don't remember what it's about. A criminal and a prodigy of this world. Everyone knows, but it's about like this criminal and this prodigy, which should be enemies, but they find out they have a common enemy, so they have to help each other. Mm. Awesome. Anyway. And then she picked up a poetry book that of I course. would like to borrow. Okay. And it said, it's um, I Am Her Tribe by Danielle Doby. I don't know what else to tell you about it. It's a poetry book. <laughs> so. This is Lindsay's little book haul. And I had self-control and didn't get anything. Because I have books coming in the mail. Oh. I did buy a Starbucks though. 
that I was supposed to buy for her. She's really mad at me. Because here's the thing. When we first got here, I told you I wanted to buy you Starbucks. Do you want to buy me a book? No. Is that make you happy? Starbucks is cheaper. Okay. Uh, barely, honestly. She looks fine. Okay, I'll check in later. I haven't read anything. Have you read anything? Me? I'm reading my texts. Yikes, gotta go. Hi guys, so it is Wednesday and I think it's like 10.45ish, around there. Um, and I tried to film a clip earlier but I was just not in the right headspace so I am refilming a clip now. Um, I had work tonight so I haven't read much today. But I did manage to read a little bit of An Ember in the Ashes. Um, I am on page 277, so I don't have much left to read. I have a little over 100 pages, uh, so that's really exciting. And tomorrow I have a pretty jam-packed day. I have class from 9.30 to 11, and then I have lab from 11 to 2, and then I have my other class from 2 to 3.20. Um, but sometimes I get out of lab early, so that is a little bit of time, but generally during that time I come home, um, I pick up my check, I come home, I eat lunch, and then I go back to class, so that's still kind of busy. Uh, so tonight I have to do some homework, um, and then my plan is, oh, well, okay, so I'm explaining this poorly. So tomorrow, that's what a typical Thursday looks like. So a typical Thursday looks like what I just described, but tomorrow on top of that, I also am delete leaving directly from school to go to my friend's college and pick her and a few of her friends up and we are going to the um we're gonna go to this like youtube podcasting thing um and it's really really exciting i'm really it's gonna be fun i think uh, especially after the week i've had i kind of need it so I'm trying to be excited. I am excited. It's just like with everything else that's going on, it's hard to really feel or care about anything, uh, which sounds really horrible, but like I'm debating on making like an update video. So let me know if you want that. But anyway, that's not what the point of this is. I don't know how much time I'm going to have to read, number one, and number two, between the time where my class gets out and I have to go pick up my friend, um, well, my friends, I guess, um, I have, like, a little bit of time to kill and Barnes & Noble is right on the way and I've been telling myself that I'm not going to pick up A Torch Against the Night for, like, until I'm done with An Ember in the Ashes because... I am more inclined to pick up a sequel if I don't already own it. Are you okay? I am more inclined to go and pick up a sequel if I have to go out and purchase it rather than like already owning it. And so for that reason, I really want to marathon this series and so I want to wait to buy it and I think it would just be easiest if I purchase it tomorrow while I have time and I can just sit in the cafe in Barnes and Noble and read. Um, so, once I'm done with my homework tonight, I want to try and stay up and finish as much of this as possible, and then if I have to, I can, like, read between classes and stuff, and then if I'm still not done with it, then I will, like, read at Barnes & Noble and then hopefully finish it and pick up a torch against the night so that I have it. So, that's my plan. Lena <laughs> just walked by. That's my plan. Um... But if I want that to happen, then I need to get started on my homework, and I just want to update you on what the situation was. Um, on Friday, I am... 
on Friday I am supposed to be getting some books in the mail so that'll be a fun little unboxing and then I think I'm gonna film my April TBR because I've been waiting for the books to come in so that I can film it and I have them to show you physically um it's not all of the books so expect a March and April TV or not TBR um March and April book haul because I think I'm just gonna combine them because I'm not gonna buy that many books in April I don't think I am expecting to buy a torch against the night and a reaper at the gates and then my grandma is coming up and I asked her to bring me some books that she already owns um and we'll just end up getting rid of eventually so we'll have some of those and then there are is like maybe one or two other books that I really want to buy but like for the most part I have this month pretty the most part I have this month like pretty under control as far as like book buying so that's really good uh but that just means that my book haul will be up a little bit later this month um because one of the books is going to take until like April 24th it said to get here so that's slightly annoying but yeah, um, I need to go do homework now, and I just wanted, I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know what the situation was. Oh, and another thing is I will be reading a poetry book this week, so this week is going to be already much more productive than past reading vlogs where I've barely even finished a book because I finished Kiki's Delivery Service. Granted, I read that in an hour and a half. Um, I've made great progress in <laughs> An Ember in the Ashes. One of the books that I'm expecting on Friday is a graphic novel, so I can read that really quickly. Uh, I'm going to be reading a poetry book. I think I might finish An Ember in the Ashes. So all in all, it's going to be a good reading month, I hope, and a good reading vlog. An interesting one, at least. Okay, now I really need to go do homework. I'm procrastinating. I will talk to you guys maybe tomorrow. Are you gonna sit with mama? Good evening, guys. It's like 11.30 and I'm parched. Hold on. Anyway, it's like 11.30 and I just got home for the night. And I'm pretty tired, but come here. You can sit with me. Don't do that. Anyway, it's like 11.30. Uh, I just got home for the day and I'm exhausted. Uh, but I did get some writing done and I do plan on reading some more tonight. So I thought I would let you know on what's happening. It's Thursday, April 4th, by the way. So I told you I wanted to finish this last night. It did not end up happening. I read like a little, I read like 15 pages last night and I just was zonked and I fell asleep, but did get this far through today so I am on page 374 I have way less than 100 pages I have like 70 pages I think um and it's so 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 good so I definitely plan on finishing this tonight and then I stopped by a friend's house and she got whiskey words and a shovel by R.H. Sin um, this is the first one, and so I wanted to go through this tonight. I've been wanting to read it for a while, and she had it, and so I asked if she would let me borrow it. And she said yes, so she needs it back relatively quickly, so I'm gonna try and finish this tonight as well. And if I finish both of those, that would be crazy. But, anyway. Then... I went to Barnes & Noble today, obviously, and I picked up A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. Um, I needed it based on everything that's happening in An Ember in the Ashes, and so once I finish An Ember in the Ashes, I'm going to jump into this relatively quickly. My friends want to hang out tomorrow, so... I don't know if I'll get to this tomorrow, but possibly Saturday, um, but who knows. So that's there for when I finish Ember, but 
if I don't get to it this week, I'm not going to be super mad at myself. And then I have a couple books coming in the mail tomorrow. One of them is a graphic novel. Um, my April TBR should be up by now, by the time you're seeing this. Uh, the graphic novel is Snot Girl by Brian Lee O'Malley, I think. Um, and so tomorrow I'm sure I'll fly through that as well. So those are my reading plans for tonight and tomorrow in case I don't check in. I have a lot of homework to do tomorrow, so tonight is my night to read as much as I want, and then tomorrow I have to crank out some homework, and then my friends want to hang out, and after that if I have time to read, then I will be able to, but it's, it's not very, it's not looking like it's gonna be very likely, but yeah, um, so that's what's going on. I just want to keep you in the loop. Now I'm gonna go read, and I need to take my hair down because this bun is killing me. All right, now I'm gonna go read and then go to bed. And my dog wants to snuggle, it looks like. No, come here. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's another thing I'm doing tomorrow. I'm filming my April wrap up, or my April TBR. Jeez, okay. But my March wrap up is going live Saturday. It's already up by the time that you're seeing this. I'll try and link them both. I think it's up here. I'll check in tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> All right, guys, I think it's like five. Not much time has passed since I talked to you last. Ooh, that kind of rhymed. That did rhyme. That did rhyme. Wow, it's special. My mom just left, and Athena was watching her pull out of the driveway. Um, but I wanted to let you know that although not much time has passed, things have transpired. So... I have DNF'd Whiskey Words and a Shovel by R.H. Sin. I got like 60 poems in and there weren't any that I liked. I didn't like the writing style. I didn't like just about anything, so I'm not even going to mark it on Goodreads. Like, it's not worth it. Um, I just, I wasn't enjoying it. It's not fun. And I'm not going to push myself to read something that I absolutely hate from like the first page. Poetry is a very personal thing, so if you loved these, awesome. I'm glad you did. I wish I did. It's just not for me, and that's completely fine, and that's the really cool thing about poetry. So, we're th that's where we're at with that. Um, but, Roomies just came in the mail by Christina Lawrence, so that's really exciting. I'm not entirely sure when I am going to pick this one up but I'm excited that it's here. I was expecting it to come with another book, but it came all by itself and I was expecting it to come tomorrow. So, you know, just, I got it all wrong. I'm gonna read the back of this cause I don't really know much about it. Hmm. Okay, so I just read the back of it. Um, and it's about these two people and they meet near the subway, I think. Um, I just kind of skimmed it. And the guy does the girl a favor. And so to repay him for that favor, she gets him an audition with her uncle, who she, he ends up auditioning for Broadway and it goes really well. And she finds out that he's in the country illegally and so she marries him on a whim so that they so that he can get his visa and be on broadway and then they end up falling in love so sounds fun i'm excited it's cute it's set in the city i've really been wanting to read a book set in new york city for a while um 
mostly because I missed the city. But, yeah, I'm excited. I don't know when I'm going to pick this one up, but probably really soon. It's on my TBR for this month, so, yeah, I have homework to do now, so I'm going to read. I started Snot Girl, and that's okay. I'm hoping it will get better. I don't like the main character, so we'll just see, but I think I might read that and then dive into my homework. I'll let you know. Welcome back to my messy, messy room. Um, it is Saturday. I think it's like 1030, um, roughly. And I haven't checked in with you guys at all today, and I feel horrible about that. The day genuinely got away from me. I had work, and before that, I was not really busy, but, like, I found things to preoccupy my time, and so I just kind of forgot to check in, to be completely honest. Um... So, I wanted to check in with you guys. So, I did end up finishing a book today, and that was Snot Girl Volume 1 by Brian Lee O'Malley. 2.75 out of 5 stars. I didn't really enjoy this. I found it completely confusing. I genuinely don't even know what happened, other than the fact that she's a fashion blogger and she had allergies. But, like, the plot of this, I don't know what happened. <laughs> and you guys know that I hate that, so I'm not continuing on with this, which is so sad because I was looking for a new, really good graphic novel, and I'm sad to report that this one was not it. Um, I don't know. But last night, I started Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie. I didn't get very far at all. Um, I got to, like, maybe page 14 or something like that. Okay, so I got to page 13 in Daughter of the Burning City, um, and I'm actually very, very intrigued. I think I want to kind of read this tomorrow, uh, maybe tonight, but I also picked... Oh, that gave me a heart attack. I have a metal bookmark, and that was... It keeps falling out because it's so small, and I don't put it in the right way. It's supposed to, like, attach to the pages, uh, but I don't put it in that way, and so it fell out, but... That was scary. Okay. Anyway, I started A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. Um, this is the sequel to An Ember in the Ashes, and I am 33 pages in. I have not gotten very far, but I am really, really enjoying this. So I'm going to read this right now. I don't know how far I will get, but I am loving it, and I also love that we're getting another character's perspective. I don't want to say, in case you haven't read Ember, because I don't want to give away who dies and who doesn't. Um, but yeah, so I want to read these simultaneously because I do want to continue to read the series so I don't want to just completely like dedicate my time to Daughter of the Burning City because I'm afraid if I do that then I won't continue on. So I want to read these simultaneously. They're very different so I don't think that I will get them confused but I am super excited and I think I want to dedicate a good chunk of tomorrow to reading this because it's not super duper long. Uh, it's only 368 pages so this one, on the other hand, is like 452. Not too long, um, but I think it would be cool to maybe get like 70 pages into this tonight, which is only 40 more pages, and I don't have anything to do tomorrow, which is a blessing. I never have Sundays off, so this is like really, really exciting for me, um, but yeah, I don't have anything to do tomorrow. Uh, there are a couple videos I want to film, but like there's nothing, I don't have work, I don't have homework that is due, like nothing, so. I'm just gonna read, I'm gonna chill, and I'm gonna have so much fun. My dog and I are gonna chill. Like, this is exciting stuff, right? But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys and let you know what was happening. Also, um, in case you guys didn't really realize how much I liked planning, I have planned all of my videos out to July 7th call me crazy <laughs> um yeah I just wanted to give you that information it's not vital in any way but you have it um yeah I'm gonna read now and I will check in with you guys tomorrow maybe I don't know 
probably tomorrow. So, I will see you tomorrow. Hi guys, so it is Sunday evening, it's like 6.30, uh, maybe 6.45, somewhere around there, 6.37, somewhere between there. Um, and I just wanted to give you an update for the day. Today was kind of a busy day, so I didn't get tons of reading done. Uh, I also got a migraine today, which was really fun. Um, and last night I just ended up watching YouTube videos I didn't read, like literally at all. But I did manage to read a little bit today. Uh, I read A Torch Against the Night instead of Daughter of Burning City. That's just what I was feeling. Uh, and I got to page 66 of this. I do plan on reading more, so I'll like finish the vlog off tomorrow with what I've read of this. But I just wanted to keep you in the loop. And I figured I would talk about, you know, the bad thing that happened at the end of March that I keep referencing. But I haven't told you outright what it was. Um... Because I think it's kind of annoying that I've been doing that. I just, I genuinely wasn't ready to talk about it. And I think that I am now. Uh, so this is just kind of like a little life update. Um, if I seem very lighthearted and cheery about the whole thing, I'm trying not to cry. It's not that, like, I'm not sad about what happened. Because I am. And I don't want to come across as, like, happy about it. Because I'm not. Um, but joking is my coping mechanism. So that is how I have tried to get through this. That's what my grieving process looks like. So the horrible thing that happened at the end of March was that we had to put my childhood dog down. Um, you guys saw him in a few vlogs, I think. His name was Flash. And um, that's why there wasn't a reading vlog for last week was because I found out on Wednesday and we put him down Monday of this past week and it's been really really hard on all of us it's been really weird because you know he was part of my daily routine and so for you know he's literally been there since I was five and I don't have a memory without him and so it's really 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 weird it's it's weird um that's literally the only way I can describe it and it's hard it's hard um so that is the horrible thing that happened at the end of March and I just wanted to spend a lot of time with him and so I did we went to the park you know I gave him lots of treats um, we went on walks and just gave him as much attention as we could so that was the horrible thing that happened uh, I just wanted to like let you guys know um, so yeah that's that now I'm going to go film, because <laughs> I haven't had time all day, so, um, I will see you guys, ooh, my voice is trembling, I will check in with you guys either a little bit later if I have a reading update, or if not later, then I will talk to you all tomorrow.